Hi everyone, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Okay, um, this video I will show to you how to uh, answer this question. All of you uh, have seen this question on my previous videos. I would like to show how to calculate for this question. Okay, uh, this question given the diagram below for a two sector economy. Okay. So, we have a diagram of leakages injection approach and we have the saving curve and also investment curve and we have the equilibrium here is at y equals to 1000. Okay, so we have y intercept here investment equals to 100 and saving equals to negative 100 for autonomous um, saving okay and now let's look at the question calculate the value of marginal propensity to consume and marginal propensity to save okay here two marks here uh, the question is about MPC and MPS and from this question Okay, from this diagram, this is injection and leakages approach. So, the, the diagram only show the saving curve, no, uh, not the consumption curve. So that, because of this, um, you have to calculate MPS first because we have saving curve. Right, so how to calculate? This is the uh, normal... Um, normal calculation okay to get the gradient okay the gradient this one is the uh, curve this one is the curve of the uh, saving save uh, okay of the saving function so we have to find the gradient how to get the MPS the gradient okay or the previous calculation I showed to you MPS is changes in S divided by changes in Y. So here we can get the change in S. This one is the change in S. Okay, so this is the original origin point and the difference is 100. Right, so change in S is 100 divided by change in Y. So here you can get the point from this point and this point so for this point you just get the difference between this point 500 to 1000 means that the change in y is 500 so, so from this you will get the value of 0 0.2 easy right and then to get mpc is 1 minus mps because MPS plus MPC equals to 1. So here, if MPS is 0 0.2, MPC equals to 0 0.8. So you will get 2 marks here. Easy? Alright. This is the, uh, the way how to calculate MPC and MPS. Alright. Now, state the consumption and savings function. Okay, as we know, this is the saving curve. So, how to get the saving function? As we all know, S equals to negative A plus 1 minus B YD. Okay, YD here, because of two sector economics, there is uh, the absence of the tax. Okay, no tax means that Y equals to YD. Okay, no tax. Alright, so negative A is the autonomous saving or this is the y-intercept. So we can look at right away from this uh, diagram. So this is the negative 100. 1 minus B is MPS. Okay, so MPS, we already get the, the answer is 0.2 YD or Y. Okay, so you already get the saving uh, saving function, and 
to get the cur uh, the consumption function this value you just convert to positive value so this one is 100 plus 0 this one is MPS okay the general equation is A plus BYD okay so YD is disposable income because of two sector YD equals to Y so A uh, we just convert the minus A to A so 100 plus B is MPC equals to 0.8 Y okay Y or YD okay doesn't matter because of two sector economy Alright, so you will get this one and this one, two marks. Right? It's easy, right? Okay, next, calculate the value of APC and APS at an income of 500. Bear in mind, if you uh, look at this question, the diagrams only show the leakage injection approach. So, first, you have to find anything about saving so here you have to get a APS first okay so for this question you can uh, there there are two ways to get this uh, answer to get APS first one you just look at this okay just look at the diagram or you just uh, substitute this value into the save, saving function also you will get the same answer right okay first i show how to get the aps from this diagram okay to get aps saving equals to y right so y we already know this is 500 and s you just look at the diagram y 500 this one okay this one so how much is the saving value so you just look at here what is the value this is only zero right easy so you will get zero APS and APS plus APC equals to one so that APC is one or one minus APS so APS you will just substitute with zero you will get one the answer is one right okay there is one option the other option you just substitute this 500 into the uh, equation okay so saving to get the saving value just substitute 500 into negative 100 plus 0 0.2 y so negative 100 plus 0 0.2 um, Okay, 500 so negative 100 plus 100 you will get 0 same right okay you will get the same answer 0 so it's not uh, the end calculate APS as equals to y 0 divided by 500 so the answer is 0 and APC APS plus APC equals to 1 so you will get APC equals to 1 simple alright okay next calculate okay for this question 0 0 and 1 so you will get 2 marks for this question and next question is calculate the value of consumption and savings at income of 1000 so here y is 1000 so substitute okay this also this question also uh, you will get uh, the answer by two by using two uh, options the first one just look at the diagram the easy way and the fast the fastest uh, uh, way to get the value or substitute y into the equation for equation consumption and also saving all right um okay so for 1000 just look at the here y is 1000 what is the value of saving okay because the the diagram itself is saving so 1000 saving is 100 
and to get C, Y minus S. Okay, because Y considered as C plus S. So now to get C, Y minus S. Y is 1000 minus 100. So you will get C equals to 900. This one way to get the, the answer. So you will get two marks. But another way, you just substitute 1000 into this formula. Okay, into this formula. Right, okay, I write here. Uh, saving negative 100 plus 0 0.2 times 1000 so you will get negative 100 plus 200 equals to 100 easy so c y minus s 1000 minus 100 you will get 900 or just uh, substitute the value into this equation okay so c equals to 100 plus 0 0.8 times 100 so you will get 100 plus 800 you will get 900 same answer right yeah so this is one way on how you want to check by yourself uh, if whether your your answer is true or not okay so Mm, if you get any problem regarding this uh, solution, you might ask me on the comment and I will I'll respond on, uh, on any problem that you uh, raise, okay? Alright, that's all for now. See you on next video. Thank you. Thank you.